a starter. And Costa finds DJ Davis for a first down, a gain of 14. A little flip pass in the flat and going nowhere is Terrence Austin. As if we see another sneak. Jonathan Franklin back in a tailback, instead sneaking in his Prince. Did he get there? I don't he did I... not. A goal line stand for the Ducks keeps the game scoreless. Stadium new, fourth and inches. They're going to try again. And that's just penetration. That's just Oregon wanting it more than UCLA up front. And UCLA's strength isn't exactly inside. But almost was able to get a foot down on the interception. Now it's a safer play call to LaMichael James, and he spins out of the end zone, stays on his feet, he's in the open. There goes LaMichael James. Out to the 50-yard line. That's actually a great job by Alteron Werner to stay with James and make sure it's not a touchdown. Now this is an unbelievable spin move by LaMichael James. And, you know, LaMichael James has done a pretty good, look at the inside spin. He's done a great job of helping people forget about LeGarrett Blunt and just changing field, cut after cut. Set to punt it away to Terrence Austin. And a wobbly kick on the sideline. Held out of the end zone by the Ducks. Well, turnabout is fair play. The so Lock will kick off. Barner back deep to receive. This one returnable. A couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. To the 20, has it crease, cuts it back. Barner in the open field. He might go the distance. Kenyon Barner, 102 yards for the touchdown. Well, you hear so much about LaMichael James, Kenyon Barner, number 24, a guy you cannot fall asleep on. And he has the type of speed and cutting ability. And you don't stay in your lanes. Should he speak? Prince to the air on first down. Intercepted, picked off on the far side of the field, and this is going to be another touchdown for Oregon as Talmadge Jackson scores on defense. You play a young quarterback, you live and you learn. Watch Jackson reading the eyes, a hard break on the hitch route, and that is a ball that Kevin Prince cannot let go. Spread on second down and long. Prince. Nimble in the pocket, lost the football. It's picked up. Oregon has it. Eddie Pleasant recovers the fumble after Kenny Rowe knocked it free. Forced to start a redshirt freshman quarterback. You've got to take your lumps. And not securing the football. Prince pulls the ball down. Oregon defense starting the sights. That was Pleasant's. Really has had it rolling since that loss against Boise State. Play with great rhythm offensively. Right back to the line, right back to the Michael James. Still on his feet. 11 yards and a first down. Costa avoids the rush. Flips it down the sideline. The catch is made. And that is good for a first down to David Paulson. On his own. Watch him freeze. A defender in the pocket. Has a great job against... Justin Fritz, number 56. Bosworth closing from his outside line. Underneath the tackle broken. Into the open at the 10, at the 5, and another touchdown. Now this is a well set up play, but UCLA has it red. Sheldon Price, number 22, is all over Mail And a missed tackle. Now Mail is a number 3 type one. Third down and three. Here comes the blitz. It's picked up. Not anymore. Prince under heavy pressure now. Sacked back at the 23-yard line by Kenny Rowe. Well, and, and he plays on the open side, the side opposite the tight end. A nice job to get inside against Suafilo, the true freshman tackle. And inside their own 20-yard line. Michael James stops, starts, and gets down the sideline. There goes Michael James again. All the way out to midfield. Play defense, watch him check off tackle. He freezes the defenders inside, and then the quickness laterally to get out to the perimeter. And from stop to start, gets this crowd back on their hands. And Jan Barner busts it free. Barner 
down the sideline. Uses the stiff arm, stays in bounds. Werner on roller skates. He got him moving back down the football field. Actually, that's Price. And you know what? That is awfully close. And that'll start the fourth quarter. Morgan Flint from 33 yards away, right down the middle. It's holding his team back from being a threat in the Pac-10 conference. Trio doesn't feel the rush coming, gets blindsided by Casey Matthews and goes down at the 11-yard line. It's a baptism by fire. Your first snap is a big-time quarterback. And you take a helmet to the numbers. 17. Here comes the blitz. Rio tries to roll away from it, can't get away from Casey Matthews again. Third sack for Oregon and second for Matthews on this drive. Now and again, Nick Aliotti, great timing. And he's a he's an excellent schemer, a guy that's been, you know, at, in Oregon. He arrived in Oregon in the late 70s. He's been a coordinator in other programs, including in Westwood for UCLA, late 90s for Bob. And he gives UCLA a great chance with eight minutes to go. A must-touchdown situation for the Bruins. Brio somehow escapes the rush, but still loses a yard. Kenny Rowe provided the pressure. Here comes the blitz on fourth down. Brio loses the football. And they rule it an incomplete pass, but it's a turnover on downs for UCLA. Coming loose again. He's been a terror on the pass rush. We talked about Kenny Rowe in Oregon. The pressure has been the difference. The field better than Prince. Bumps once, doesn't see the rush coming, and that ball is live. He got walloped by Javis Lewis. Inside, and this is a situation where Rio might have gotten his jaw broken. Now, Javis safeties in the Pac-10, and he delivered a blow. Rio finds a soft spot, tipped ball, intercepted, picked off by Boyette. And that will certainly do it now for UCLA. By Brijo, and it looked like the Bruins were going to pick up the first down. And the ball was actually a little bit high. But a play that Embry can come up with from time to time. I think that's a ball that he has to make the play on. And how about Boyette? And Boyette made the interception to close.